What's come over me? <laughs> me. What's come over me? Good morning, y'all. I got to bring this story because it's it's one of those stories that, well, I stand with Riley Gaines, okay? And what she, Riley Gaines is saying is that feminists like Megan Rapino or Rapino, whatever you pronounce her last name, and Billie Jean King, I thought she was checked out, but she's still around, probably see now. Um, they're actively fighting for women to lose as she condemns their hypocrisy for supporting inclusion of transgender athletes in women's sports. Let me tell y'all something. There should not be no transgender in no women's sports. Get your behind and go sit down somewhere. If you one of them kind of transgenders, then now you're being disrespectful. You are being disrespectful to women who are born women. Because just like uh, Flame Monroe said, you can only be born a man or a woman. Either you a male or a female. I'm sorry. Male or female. Now, all this other stuff in between that you want to add and all this stuff like this or what your preferences is, those are all different conversations. Now, you got no business bringing your ass over here with your big lungs and your strong, big muscles and your damn big freaking nutsack over here and trying to compete with what they call cisgender women. And these are freaks. I'm just going to say it. And this video is going to probably get, oh, wait. I probably got to put this up on Patreon because I'm sure this is not going to be able to sustain this. Uh, because what's happening now is that the devil makes evil fair seeming. And I can't be afraid to say it. The devil makes evil fair seeming. Now, you know good and damn well. Now they got what they call chest feeders or bleeders. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the names that they got for natural women. Well, no matter what your preference is, you still can be a natural woman. And those, there's no man. There's no man born a man can really be a woman. Okay? You might like women. You might want to emulate women. And you might think in your mind that you're a woman. But if you had the hormonal changes that we have every month, and regardless of your um, preference, then you can consider yourself a woman. But when you got to take all kinds of hormones, you know, to shrink your penis, to grow you some breasts, uh, honey, it's not that complicated for people that are born a woman. Okay. So, Riley Gaines labeled Megan Rapinoe, Rapinoe a fake feminist on social media on Tuesday, okay? And the reason she did is, again, this craziness with biological-born men wanting to compete with women. And you notice that it's just white men? White men who started the country... White men who want to do whatever they want to do with no consequences, no accountability. They take you out of history, put you in there. These are what This is what white men do. Now they're trying to erase and make you mixed up between what a, a woman is that was born biologically a woman and a transgender. So Riley Gaines doubled down on her criticism of them, suggesting that both she and Billie Jean clean are now actively now fighting to lose those opportunity supported um of participation of biological men in women's sports Gaines, a former university of kentucky swimmer who was attacked by trans activists last week said tuesday that rapino was a rapino whoever was a fake feminist and would shiv a male trying to usurp her 
position on a team. While Gaines did not experience this exact situation, she had to compete against a transgender woman, formerly of the University of Pennsylvania, men's swimmer, William Thomas, now known as Leah Thomas, who won the NCAA uh, swimming title. If, if this is not madness that they are trying to down you, y'all better realize who, who side you on. Gaines hit out of both hit. Gaines hit out at both Rapino and King for being hypocrites, claiming they are fighting to lose to women. They, I mean, they're fighting for women to lose. And that's exactly what they're doing. Y'all thought Joanna Man was funny, but now this shit is real. There's no way in the world, and I want to stand on it. If you think that you want to travel and insult uh, what... The, Y'all call, I have to call them born biologically a woman. If y'all want to bring y'all asses over here after you done had all this surgery and hormone and everything like that, then I'm going to have to say it like this. You're not a real woman. You're a fake woman, and you don't need to be over here. You need to go and get your own league, nuts hanging in the damn uh, locker room. Um, what is wrong with y'all? Have, have have the society drove you that mad that you can't see right from wrong, good and evil? What the hell's wrong with you? Now, I'm not against anybody, and I love everybody. But when you start trying to make me and project your sh sickness onto me, and now you're trying to change my mind, like I don't know the difference between a real woman and a bot and a, 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 a and then you call her a chest feeder, all these insulting names, and then I don't know the difference between that and a real woman, a natural woman, as Aretha would say. You need to get out of here, cause I'm not trying to uh, listen. I'm not trying to cover up for the madness. So y'all cannot like me if you want to. I don't care. Get your transgender ass up out of women's sports and go start your own transgender league. Okay, white men? And, and this is one of the few times that me and Caitlyn Jenner is on, this, is on the same team. Get your ass out of here with that dumb shit. And I'm sorry. I just had to say it just like I see it. Y'all don't have to like it. But damn it, I got to come with it now. Because... Just like in the scriptures, these people will make evil fair semen. No person in the United States on the basis of sex shall be excluded from participation, but being denied the benefits of or is subjected to discrimination under any educational program or activity receiving financial assistance. Uh-uh. This, this is insane. And somebody need to call in the cavalry to fix this perception of freedom that's gone mad. Because it's gone mad. Y'all don't got to say it. I wear my balls. My balls is right up here on my chest. I'll see y'all in the next video.